Forget for a second how we passed it three and a half years ago. Think about what we know now. <coughs> Think about what we know about Obamacare now. We know the public still doesn't like it. In fact, they like it less now than they did when we passed it. We know because every small business owner tells us it's the biggest single government thing holding them back from creating jobs. We know it's going to bankrupt us. We know it. And every month, a new estimate comes out that tells us it's going to cost us more. We know most states don't want it. In fact, a lot of states aren't going to participate if they can. This one kills me. Obamacare. I wonder if even Fred Obama scratches his head at this one. I just passed the greatest bill. Three years later, I've granted over 2,000 waivers to people, organizations, states, and unions, and corporations to exempt them from even participating in it. Now, why would you do that if it's such a great thing? The chief actuary of, me of, 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 of uh, Medicaid has told us it is going to flood Medicaid rolls. Premiums, we now know, and by the way, guys, this estimate will go up, are going to be $20,000 for a family of four by the year 2016. Oh, here's one they don't like to talk about. Obamacare, read my lips, seniors. Obamacare will decimate Medicare. Obamacare will destroy Medicare. To fund Obamacare, they're going to take money from Medicare. They're going to remove seniors from Medicare Advantage. If you're on Medicare Advantage, say goodbye. The name of the game is to put everybody on Medicare on Medicaid. And, and even, even Democrats in Washington have voted with us a few times to, to repeal some of the parts of it that even they say, oh my God, I can't believe we did it. 60 to 80 million Americans. Here's another one of Obama's lies. If you like your health care, you can keep it. <laughs> now, we, yeah, now we know. We know 60 to 80 million Americans, and that's just the start, are going to be tossed off of their employer-based health care. Guys, this is not complicated. We complicate things in politics. We complicate things in life. Let me be really simplistic. Obama's aim is to put everybody on government-run health care. My God, that's not complicated. Now, you know what? There are people in this country who genuinely believe in that. There are people around the world who love government-run health care. He's not honest enough. I'll look in the camera. President Obama is not honest enough with the American people to tell us that's what his, that's what his aim is. That's with me and defend government run health care. Single payer. Because that's what he wants. But he doesn't have the courage to do that. It's not a tax. 